Morning and welcome to episode five, 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 five of the whiskey campground restoration. And we've got Utrecht with us today. Here he is. Say hello, Utrecht. This is Utrecht. He's my boy. He's a good lad, isn't he? He's a lovely boy. Yes, you are. There you are, buddy. Right, anyway. Yes, and his name did come from the last kingdom. <laughs> You're all excited now, aren't you? Yes, because I'm talking about you. Yes, and lots of people are watching you. Yes, they are. Yes, you're amazing. Oh, what a lovely boy. All right, you can get down now then. Don't start barking. There's a good lad. Stay there. Good boy. Right, so today in this episode, we're going to be fixing on the um, pelmet up here. Uh, as you can see, it's all perforated, dented. Well, it's just knackered, really. There's a little section in the middle, possibly could save, but it's hardly worth it. But um, this is what we're going to be fixing on today. And also, if I pan you around, just one minute. Benny is here, he's just making some tea. Here's Utrecht, Benny around. Uh, there's the doors there. Uh, in pretty good condition as it goes. We've had them blasted and then treated with the anti-rust primer stuffy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a few little bits around the window need tidying up. Um, they want stripping off a bit. Little knickknacks uh, and the bottom of this one needs repair. It's pretty good. This just needs cutting out and a new piece put in there. The other door is fine at the bottom, so I want to get that out. Um, it's just a little bit around here. So it's soft a little bit around the window where the water's laid on it all the years, but the bottom of it's really good. So also we're going to be sorting them out. And the lower rear panel is here. Um, and now I don't know how that slipped through the net because it's not been blasted, but it did. Um, so we've got to strip that right down back to whatever straighten it all out one of the hinges actually works believe it or not and one doesn't so a bit of work to do on that as well so benny will be doing these bits whilst i'm doing the pelmet which is there parts of it so anyway without further ado let's uh, have a look and see what we can do with this up here so let's crack on happy days Get out. Well, there's the helmet in place. There you go. So nicely done, all repaired and ready to rock and roll, which is another job out of the way. Okay, next. Next, 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 next. 
is the rear end. Hmm, happy days, look at this lot. So, a bit of making good to do there. <laughs> and there. Um, same this side. Repair to do behind the hinge. Other than that, it's in fine fettle, really. So it's all bottom end, ever. So, made these new panels. Upper and uh, upper, upper lower rear panel. Makes no sense, does it really? But it is, it goes, it's in two pieces and it goes across here. So obviously this is, this is way too long at the moment, but that's where it goes there. You see? Now available, if you need one, get in touch. So that's that. So we're gonna fix on the rear end, but I'm gonna put the doors on first and see how square it is. That's always a laugh. Uh, if it's not square, we'll square it up before we do anything else. Anyway, it's another day. Well, another story, even. There you are. Uh, ben is busy in the back making rear arches because we also do them now. There's one here he prepared earlier, sitting on the back of my truck. Uh, rear arch repair panel. We have it also available now yeah there you are so let's see how we go all right we just switch the old van around and what we're going to do is just fit the back doors temporarily to line up all the back of the van and these hinges are handed in case you're wondering they are handed they're handed hinge. So if you're looking at the hinges, uh, they're not been taken to pieces, this is. Makes life a lot easier. The, the nuts always at the bottom, so like that. Basically. Okay. Let's uh, we, uh, start with putting a hinge on here. This is just dry fitting, obviously, it's all got to come off again. Be didgeridooed. Got a woodpecker in here somewhere. In a
Does it that one? These are. Keep tapping. some other bolts then well I've got the doors on there I forgot I wasn't recording for that one uh, this one is uh, it doesn't matter it didn't miss much um, so looking at that all bolted on properly looking at the spacing it actually looks very good Very good. There's quite a large gap in the middle, but it's a very even gap all the way down. And bear in mind, I can move the, the hinges over to close it up and stay on this side. But all I was really interested in was seeing how square it was because I can't go welding panels in if the van isn't square. But the van is square, so I'm quite happy with that. Just like just let's be really anal, shall we, and uh, measure it. Just the okay. Got to get a small ruler because uh, so the gap is there. So we got five mil, five and a half mil. The bottom six mil, so it's very minute difference. Like I said, it's just one of the hinges, so be all right, be all right, be all right. So that now means that we can clean all this back up and get this cross handle on. 
the heat of having the doors on is because the, there's a curvature in the back panel. to the right curvature. We're looking at that as a mine out. So you have to do a little bit of uh, bit of bending. But first of all what I need to do is get that get all this dead off here. And then we can get on. I'll bring it up a little bit. No, it's great having a ramp, but you forget you got one. You're sort of bending down or oh, back and everything else. And you suddenly think, well, lift it up, idiot. <laughs> That's your idea, isn't it? To save your back. That's not right enough, a bit more. to nip all this off here, cut all that off, tidy that up, try and get this tidied up and at least the back bit sort of in place before end of play. So, where's my grinder? I'll use the grinder. It's drained over there earlier. We're there yet? Yeah, yeah. We'll wrap it up and wrap it up. Right, so we're going to clean those off. size this little one getting in little places little places little faces
Blessed thing. Blessed. Alright, that's pretty tidy, mate. Didn't get that off yet, but we have something to work to. I don't want to lose that really for a minute because it's giving it a bit of strength. Strength, mate! Move oh, that like that from this side.
of tea then? Don't you want a cup of tea? Up here, Sam. Sorry. Clean this up. You can do if you like. Well, do, though, isn't it? something to do. You've got a split in Something to do. That's what I'll have to weld it up. It's not like we can just buy those, is it? Yeah. Not impossible. <laughs>
For me, that still needs to come up in the air a bit there. Somehow I'll get rid of that. It's all going to end in tears. the most important bit. Mr. came in, chatting away when I'm working, forgot the camera. <laughs> Never mind. So, sort of got that in place now, but what's happened is the gap's up a little bit in the door. So what I need to do uh, is put a ratchet strap around the body, ratchet it in until it closes up. And then we'll put another bolt in this end and that holds it in place. That closes that gap. He says, the face is breath. We will see. Find a ratchet strap now. Alright, we've got the strap on there. So it also puts a very even pressure on it. It's not even tighter, but it's just enough to bring that in so we can fix this. So I think one more click. And we're there. So what we do now is to leave that strap in place until we've done the work on the back. And then that'll hold all together. Be careful because obviously you've got to put it around the arc. And you have to be careful not to over tighten it in case you do some body work. All the arches are done on here so it's got plenty of strength in it. What we're going to do is just run a bit of weld in there. This side to hold that in place. And you can see why I put the doors on and everything else. Because you have to make sure everything lines up. I'm going to get one chance at this to get it wrong, the band will always be like that or like that. Anyway, it's a bit awful. That's running lovely level with the doors. So the bottom of the door is lined up with the inside of that panel. Not bad at all. I mean, it's always worth double checking, I'm trying to nick it off Ben for a minute. Okay, buddy. Well, we back in a minute. I knew it would moment me. Huh? I knew it would moment me. Just need to check this against here. So, lining up there, lining up the holes underneath. So, with a bit of fettling, good to go. Thank you, Nana. Hey, uh. Hey? What? Bloody attitude, what do you Attitude!
It's got a lovely pizza, isn't it? Lovely, lovely, lovely.
not drink the tea because it's cold. Kadaki. So, what you see there, oh, let's pick that up. What you see there is the upper lower, what I call the upper lower back panel in, in position just about. It's not absolutely how I want it, so I've got a bit of adjustment to do, but it's not far away. It's literally about three mil off. But I've got to get this right because it doesn't look great if you don't. Caps are great on the doors, nothing smooth like that. All I've got to do is a bit of a cheat. But I need to just put a bottle jack between here and here, with a lump of wood, to wind that jack up to bring this panel out in the middle. This panel will then bring the sides in slightly and then it will all marry up. It's literally just in that snap what's it or feeling that's exactly where I want it. But this is all in a fit perfectly. So the only way to do that really is just to bring that panel out a little bit more. You can mess about with it the cows come on. But all of it literally is exact. And we're in business. So that's all bolted into place. So I think that's about it for today. That's about had enough. I need to get the clean up. And uh, I think we'll call that the end of episode five. Um, and, and I'll see you in the next episode when I get these other bits and pieces fixed at the back here. Um, the back panel in place, it's all like, it's, uh, we'll, we'll take it all a bit as it fits again, but we've got to make sure it all fits so then it lines up before we go too mad. So then we go painting a van, finishing it, and then finding out that things don't fit properly at the end of it. We've got to do all this work now, 
then uh, keep going back on yourself and scratching your head and doing repainting and all that malarkey. It's not something I want to be doing. So, doing really well today, getting that helmet done and everything else. Uh, so, I'm happy. I hope you're happy. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching Mad Work, Gary. See you soon. Take care.